Hi everyone, I'm Fred on the Carpet Stacker and welcome to Game Points. This is my short review show and this time I'm going to take a look at 13 Monster. Have a gruesome good time. So this is a game about matching. You're matching up monsters in different segments. There's three segments in each of them. Um, you can ma mix, match them you want, but the most uh, the player who has the best monsters and the most best matched monsters will win the game. In order to create a monster, you need a top part, you need a middle part, and which is the eyes, and you need the bottom part. And when you have a monster, you can start attacking opponents. So in the game, there are 13 monsters. There are six segments of each monster. You're gonna, and each of those are divided into three parts. So six segments that can be made into uh, two of those, making into a pair, making two apart. And there are four different elements. And you're trying to do is trying to match as much of the elements as possible because if you create a creature with the same element, then you are the, the same creature, then you're able to get special abilities. One of them like flipping more tiles. The other one is to you can stop uh, the opponents from picking a certain type of tile on the board. And so players are going to take turns, going to keep flipping tiles. You got to memorize uh, where these tiles are so you know where to match them. You mat the more again, the more you match, the more points you get, and the better the match, you can always get more points that way. And in the battles, players are going to roll dice to see who can roll better. And if you win, you get to steal body parts from them so you can get more points that way and build the best monsters possible. 13 monsters, you're going to keep going until there are no more monsters to match up. You're going to add up the score. Remember that the player who has players that have the uh, matching monsters will get more points. And of course, you get more monsters. There's going to be more points that way. And now on to the review. So first of all, talk about the presentation of the game. I, I kind of like the art. I mean, it's kind of cute, but the kind of like the monster kind of way <laughs> in there. It's not uh, gruesome or scary I mean it's just uh, the monsters have big eyes so I guess that's why it's not <laughs> that scary but I like how they're designed or, and each of them are different in, in various ways and they're divided into the segments in there it's not completely symmetrical too if you, if you if you look closely enough in there but as you're playing the game that the creature since the creatures are all <laughs> kind of like the same shape too it's very hard to determine and trying to memorize because you know, there's like the underside of the, the animals, the, uh, the the creatures, and there's the the eyes of the creature. And it's like, oh, where are the eyes? Is this this one or that one? And there's, of course, the, uh, they're labeled. Like there's number six here and number seven there. And But like, oh, and you're flipping up. Oh, look, two sixes. Wait, no, one's the bottom side, one's the eye side. So it's kind of <laughs> really hard to do it I mean, you'll know where these guys are but then you're gonna soon forget since the game is really huge and then for the rule book for the matter um the design of the rule book the graphic design of the rule book is really nice looking it's a very nice looking book unfortunately the, it's very hard to understand for what an easy game or easy to play game this is so uh, it goes kind of like here and there and it's kind of confusing where it kind of talks about this some part also it's not extremely clear on the how the game um, flow is in the game so that's something that's was for me hard to grasp and so three really neat things i found in the game first of all it's a matching game and you know, matching games are just very the basic kind of game this one it does bring it just a little tiny notch with some extra rules in there the the battles of the game and you're trying to get if someone has your monster part that you want you just battle them and trying to get the parts that you want and then the, the hunt for the ghost i think this is the the, the funnest thing in the game is trying to try to find the, the ghost. So it's like 13, the, it's the 13th ghost. And it's also the one that has a special ability and that completely steals an, an opponent's monster. And three negative things about the game. First of all, it's really tough, especially in the beginning of the game when you're going to lose a monster bar. When you lose a monster bar, you're not going to have any more abilities, especially if you're going to get more of the matching parts in there and you get a more ability parts but someone's going to attack you and take that away and it's going to be another hard time for you to take it and I, I didn't really like that there are just way too many monsters on the board too this is again it's a memory game and there's so many different monsters in the uh in the board you can see how huge this is it's just going to be oh you flip blue foot it's and it's it's very tiresome for the mind uh, at least for my mind of like oh um there's the six over here. Or there's the one here. Oh, wait, it's the eye. And, it's, and it, the different segments make it a little confusing. It's like, oh, look, I found a match. Wait, no, that's not the right match. And that's really, really frustrating 
thing about the game. And the last thing is uh, another rule that I didn't mention in the overview is the trading. There's completely no trade. No one wants to trade in this game. At least for in my game group, nobody wants to trade. And so at the end of it, this game is, is going to be a really strong pass for me. I mean, it's a memory game, first of all, and it's something that it's too huge, too big. It's it's just too overwhelming the, the brain cannot my brain can encompass how where, where each part is and like oh because when you find a part like oh i know where it is and you're going to try to go look back for it's like where's the part <laughs> that happens every time it's like like i got an eyeball here i know where the eye, eyeball is somewhere on this corner here and it'll take you some tries and then somebody else is going to find it too it's just very frustrating I and mean, there's some cool things about the game for as a memory game there is a battle there is some special abilities in there but again those don't really carry it for me uh, for this game since it is generally a memory game so again this one very hard pass anyway i'm fernando carpet stacker thank you for watching and remember to keep on stacking games And thank you for watching. Come follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out our website, thecarbridgestacker.com. I'm Ferdinand the Carbridge Stacker, reminding you to keep on stacking games.